right, so here we go. So as some of you may know, if you've been following my DeviantArt or my Facebook, maybe, have I talked about this on Facebook? I don't know. I need to look at the camera. I'm just sorry. Actually, I'm going to be putting a clip on there. So I look at there and not my face on the screen. So as some of you know, I've been working on a cosplay for one of the new video games on Steam. It's called Sally Face. And I just recently got my last part of the cosplay in. I was waiting on the shoes for like a long ass time, but they were coming out of China, as did a lot of the costume, actually. I've got it all kind of laid out here. It's my Hatsune Miku wig. I've got the mask, turtleneck, the red skinny jeans, and the shoes. My first pair of Converse, how exciting. And then I have this plethora of material right here on my bed. I'm trying to aim with a laptop, this is not easy. There we go. Actually, I can probably organize this a little bit better for you guys. So I've got my stapler, because with the mask, it just has a regular race on it. And I wanted to attach some of the black nylon straps so I can kind of imitate the mask that Sally wears. I have some genuine leather to cover up these where they attach on the mask. I also have a brand new paintbrush. It's supposed to help you like blend colors while you paint, so that'll be good. And I have a ton of paint so I can make the beautiful weird gray skin shade that Sally has on his mask. Also over here, because I don't have enough of this already, more black makeup, like really dark, onyx, midnight, whatever. I have to paint my face around the eyes so you can't see my skin underneath the mask. Sally has dark, empty, endless pit eyes. <laughs> it's not kind of gross. And then I have these really thick hair ties because he has those big wonkin' hair ties on his freaking ponytail. So, I get to style the wig, I get to cut up the jeans, and I get to paint the mask. And I thought, why not start on this at freaking 11.43 p.m.? I am not looking at the camera again. Maybe I should wait till tomorrow. Yeah, screw it. We into the darkened bathroom. Oh, oh no, it sounds like a broke something. Jesus. Yeah. Alright, this is angle gonna work. There we go, the stool in the bathroom. Nothing like it. To reloading staplers. So awesome. No, you heathen. You banish you. Alright. Wait, not done. Not done. Yes. No way. Oh, I think someone makes this. Back again. I just tore a page out of my school's magazine thing they sent to me in the mail because it had the nice big white space on one of the pages and there is big pages. So hopefully that'll work. My computer is going to die now! Da da to the rescue. Ha, no dying on me now. This is a pen, this isn't even a marker.
actually going to go into two pieces and I'm hopefully going to have one going from underneath one ear to the top of the ear on the other side of my head and then the other half is going to do the same thing but from underneath this ear to the top of this ear so it kind of has like a crisscross in the back. I'll we'll strap the mask on and then I'm going to try and get this part to go around the wig somehow. <laughs> connectors that are going to cover up the staples when I staple on the nylon straps to the mask because he has those little things where they attach around his ears which is probably made of metal but I'm not that cool and the art store where I work where I got all this stuff they don't have just the metal pieces like that lying around so it's a bother because it's the same color so sue me <laughs>
attack my face. here which is a water-based sealer glue and finish I was going to use this for my troll horns when they made them like forever ago and I never did so oh it's kind of old I hope that works okay start tearing holes in my jeans that I just bought. I guess they're not even really jeans, they're just red pants. Yeah, so that's gonna be exciting. Are you ready for this, Mr. Quackers? How about you, Skelly? I think they're ready. I'm ready too. Here we go. Oh, I guess I gotta take my pants off for this. Oh, I'm gonna pause this. Yes! All right, how am I gonna film this? So, they fit perfectly, which is awesome, because like I said, I got most of this stuff out of China, and I was messing with like a million different size charts. Some of the websites had different size charts than standard Chinese and American measurements. So that was fun. Everything fits really well. So now I get to go get the scissors and mess these knees up. I almost feel bad doing this because they fit so well. Whee! <laughs> So now that that's done, I get to start styling the wig, and I'm so scared I'm going to mess it up. And again, I feel bad cutting it up, because it's really nice how to make a wig. But, best play comes first, I guess. This is the bag I actually got the wig in. I'm going to use this to collect the extra hair, so I can make another wig. Because that's a thing that you can do. Where'd my phone go? So for this, I think I'm actually going to put it on first, so I know how long I need to make everything. <laughs> This by itself is cool. Where are you attached, friend? Okay, I'm gonna take this off. It's not working. Destroy it. I'm gonna take some pictures actually real quick.
I can't believe I got paint on my charger. I'm gonna sit on the toilet. Mary, that will die. Alrighty.
That's pretty much it for this cosplay. That's all I had to do. So I paint the mask and style the wig. The head took the longest part. Um, these things are holding up pretty good though. I don't even need to tie the string on honestly. The nylon straps hold it on really well. Hope you guys can hear me okay. So yeah. Now that I got that done, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I got a thing I have to do tomorrow. I'm not done. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye!